Are you struggling with something in life and looking for ways to heal? My name is Santosha and my goal is to help you find those ways. Welcome to my podcast, Become the Healer. Together we'll explore an integrated healing approach and journey through ancient healing modalities, mindset shifts, scientific evidence, inspiring stories and practical tips, empowering us to heal our lives get unstuck from toxic patterns and expand consciousness, raising our energetic vibration and healing the planet from within. Hello and welcome to this episode on Become the Healer. My name is Santosha and my website is Healing the Planet from Within, where you can find my newly published book called Mysteries of a Modern Mystic where I talk about my journey of inner healing and spiritual development. It is my own personal journey and it will blow your mind. So please go and grab a copy from Amazon or on my website. You can find the link. And um, I talk about everything about healing because I am dedicated to helping people raise their energy vibration in order to change the planet. And... In this episode, I wanted to talk about how our past life karma follows us around in the hidden shadows, haunting and taunting us and making us act in ways that we don't want to. It's giving our life patterns and experiences that we don't want to have. And I think this is important, especially for those of you who are dedicated to healing, who have issues that you feel like you're stuck with, that you feel like you can't shift, you can't heal. It's usually hidden in your past life karma from past lives. Now, if you don't want to view at it, you view it from the perspective of a past life karma, you can see it in the perspective of family lineage intergenerational trauma because you have ancestors we all have ancestors if you do the math 10 years of ancestors gives you 1024 ancestors or something 10 years 1000 ancestors someone there had experienced trauma that they were unresolved and then that passes down to you in the energetic vibration right So whether it's intergenerational trauma, family lineage, baggage, burdens, or past life karma, however you name it, it's important to heal it because it's going to keep following you around because the patterns, it's in the energies and your soul carries this energy through lifetimes, right? We've seen this in a gazillion movies and ancient scriptures around the world. It's quite well known. In fact, I've been living here in Tiruvannamalai and Tamil Nadu in India for two years in past life karma. People go to the Nadi astrology reading to learn about their past life karma and how they can resolve it so that they don't suffer in struggles and miseries anymore. But we've got to play a part in this, okay? Even though you know your past life karma, it's not easy to absolve it. Yes, I've been to temples and I prayed to gurus and I meditate and I raise my energy vibration, but the past life karma still has to be acted out and resolved in a different way than it was before, right? People will still come to you and test you because the patterns are still there. Now, when you completely absolve this, you're free from this pattern, these toxic people or this bad pattern of misery does not follow you around, does not come to you anymore. But it takes some time to get there. Some of these patterns are pretty strong. The minor ones are easier to shift. They're seriously, it's not too bad. You can just, okay, you need to meditate for a few hours or clear your chakras or something and it's cleared and you find yourself feeling fresh again. But some of them are very, very persistent. They're haunting us, they're taunting us. Now, if you have an energetic pattern of narcissism it is quite complex narcissism is complex in layers and and it sticks right but what's interestingly interesting is that the dark energies can feed off you 
right? Because they will plant thoughts in your mind. Just imagine an invisible person next to you who has lost their physical body, but was in a domestic violence situation, and they have no clue what they're doing, but all they need to do is feed off dark energy because they, and they're unconsciously aware. They're like, like zombies, you know, they just feel like they need to feed. And so it's invisible next to you. Now you have a narcissistic pattern in your family. They're going to plant a thought in your mind that triggers you into feeling rage or injustice and getting revenge, right? And then you suddenly have these thoughts of rumination going on. You're ruminating about this, you're ruminating about that, and you think, oh my God, and then you start feeling paranoid and you start fearing, feel fearful, and you start even fearing your life. All these types of situations start coming up in your life. What happens then? Honestly, what happens then? Is that you have to become strong, increase your conscious awareness of the patterns of your personal template. What's the personal template? This is a concept I was going to do a whole podcast around the personal template, right? The personal template for living. This is the term I use for it. It consists of all the patterns you learned throughout childhood. And I believe you bring some from past lives. This is your thoughts, the patterns of thinking, how your parents used to view another person, a different culture, religion, anything, uh, traffic, whatever. They would respond in a certain way. As a child, you observed them and you learned this pattern. So the next time, let's say you're stuck in traffic, you respond like your mother or your father did because you observed them. So there's many patterns that we observe as children from our parents, other adults around us. Um, all of them, are, everything is there, right? From doctors, teachers, everything. We learn things. And so we create this or the world around us creates this personal template for living so that we have these rules for living. We should live in amongst this personal template. Some of these are toxic patterns. Some of them are positive and supportive. Some of them will help you increase your self-worth, your self-esteem. Some of them will knock it around. Some will make you doubt who you are, right? This personal template for living. When we're healing past life karma, we must be consciously aware of the personal template. Number one thing that must absolutely be done is that you can observe your thoughts and emotions. Because the thoughts and emotions are the key to what's in your energetic matrix, what's in your origins. The key there, right? Absolutely important to understand this. It's not a process of observing your thoughts and your emotions to blame or criticize yourself, to judge yourself. That's not the reason for observing these things. Not at all. The whole process is to observe these things, to be able to find what's in the personal template in your energetic vibration so you can find the past life karma. Yes, if you're lucky to be in in India, you can find more about your past life karma by going to uh, Nadi Astrology Reading. South India, Tamil Nadu has these Nadi Astrology Readings. Uh, There are other sources of finding past life karma, but you can see the patterns in your life. Our whole world is made of patterns. It's just, it's mind-blowing. When I look at people now, I can see their patterns. I, I can predict the future just by looking at someone's patterns. Um, it's a bit weird. Anyways, so healing past lives is quite a complex issue. Healing past lives can affect you on so many levels. If you've got past life karma around relationships, it follows you around. If you've got past life karma around business, jealousy, it follows you around. You can't have a good business. You can't be successful in your career, your job, or your relationship. You can't, with the past life karma in your energetic matrix, it's not possible. One way to work with this past life karma 
is to raise your energy vibration, which is the reason why I'm so adamant and persistent in encouraging people to raise their energy vibration. This is a process of having a higher positivity ratio than negativity. This is the easiest way for a mundane mind to realize it. This is in positive psychology, and you can uh, see the benefits when you look at or find the book Positivity by Barbara Fredrickson. She has proven or suggested that people who have a higher positivity ratio than negativity live a better life, more flourishing, more open and expansive. Any negative pattern brings you down, right? So anything positive, it's not positivity, like positive thinking, it's positive feeling to activate that positive feeling in your vibration, in your, in your, in your feeling and emotions, right? So when I travel down my path, you know, uh, of crossroads, whether I go left or right and making a decision, I, I, I seek for the feeling, which is the lighter feeling, which will give me the freedom I want in my life, which will take my life to another level, what will help me heal and absolve and move on. I, I, you feel it. And I, and I know there's been some times I've received its intuition going, if you do this, it's going to be a bad result. And I'd be like, what? okay and i still did it and i had a bad result right but nowadays i'm feeling my intuition feeling my energies and yes yesterday i think i made a bad decision and went talk to someone that i shouldn't have and the consequences are probably coming today and i had it in my mind this is going to be bad and i was like yeah yeah okay let me do it because i had that taunting and haunting from the past life karma in my mind right and i did it and I'm just asking for my guru and the higher beings for protection because I want to get untangled from this. And uh, past life karma sucks, I can tell you right now. But I have made the decision. And if you listen to my podcast, you would know. And at the time of recording, I've made the decision to go to a Buddhist monastery and meditate for three months. I am tired of the games of this life of the maya and illusions of this world. I'm tired of it and I want out. I want to reach that state of samadhi and enlightenment. So I have made the decision to walk away from the world entirely and do this. So I pre-recorded my podcast and, um, and, and I'm asking people to please support my Patreon page because I am releasing things there while I'm in meditation. It's been pre-scheduled worksheets, uh, in affirmations, interesting posts about my journey. And when I come out, I will be doing Zoom meetings and satsangs. I don't know. Satsang is a spiritual gathering of people who are in a higher vibration who talk about spiritual topics. So we'll be doing some of that and question and answer sessions. And I'll be taking you through how to heal your own past life karma and whatnot. So my Patreon page is Healing the Planet from Within. Um, you know, patreon.com backslash healing the planet from within. Um, the link will be on my website and I'm going to make sure I put a link on there probably today. So you can just go straight to it as one of the tabs. Um, but I'm encouraging you to please share my project with your friends and family around social media. Um, during the three months I'm in meditation. So when, you know, I'd like to, when I come out, um, you know, I think it would be awesome to see, uh, to share my experience with everyone. Now, interestingly, I'm hoping to get permission from the monastery to have access to my phone once a month where I'm going to connect with the world and, and share my experience up to that point. So if you're on my Patreon page, you will have access to that private session, exclusive access to those sessions. So, um, I think that's cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, also my YouTube channel, Healing the Planner From Within, you'll see updates there as well. But I really want to create my close-knit community, so that's why I created my Patreon page. So, um, okay, I am going to go. I have got some drama to dive into and hopefully resolve. <laughs> Past life karma sucks, but yes, we can heal it. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm working. <laughs> and I hope you can understand. We'll, we'll, we're going to work through and heal a lot. I can tell you. I'm pretty dedicated to this journey. Okay. Many blessings for your day. 
Thank you for listening to my podcast, Become the Healer. I'm super grateful to have you as part of this community. You are awesome. (laughs) And before we go, I want to remind you about two exciting things that you don't want to miss out on. First and foremost, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. By doing so, you'll never miss out on one of these juicy good episodes and even stay up to date with upcoming events. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on a single moment of what's coming up. But wait, there's more. Also, head over to my YouTube channel called Healing the Planet from Within and also hit that subscribe button. That way you can enjoy all the fantastic content including traveling to sacred places and fun behind the scenes moments. Subscribing is super easy. It takes one click and would mean the world to me. So go ahead and make sure you're part of this incredible community, both on my podcast and YouTube channel. And finally, wander over to my website, Healing the Planet from Within, and become part of our healing community by downloading the worksheets and making inspiring comments on the podcast episodes. It's super, super great to have you with us in this community. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing journey. Your support means the world to me because this is truly my biggest passion in life. I look forward to connecting with you on another episode or even in person.